the COVID infection rate continues to decline in southeast Michigan and across the state, the Oakland County Health Division is offering new guidance regarding masking. Beginning February 28th, uh, masks will no longer be a requirement in um, schools and daycares. County officials say they spent weeks evaluating COVID trends and numbers before making the move. This week, the data really seems to be trending down. Um, and we feel it's the appropriate time to lift the mask requirement. The superintendent for Novi Community School District says he's seen that decline firsthand. On uh, January 14th, which was a Friday in the middle of January, we had 51 COVID cases reported in the district. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week, we had seven cases reported in our district. Nicole Kessler says it's good news that COVID numbers are going down. But on the other hand, I'm I'm worried. Um, I'm worried that taking away safety measures may cause cases to increase. Kessler says both her husband and 10 year old son recently recovered from COVID and her son who attends Birmingham schools wants to wear a mask for protection. I hope that the schools have things in place to make sure that kids that want to wear masks are not being bullied by their peers. Fox 2 checked in with other counties in southeast Michigan. Guided by a declining COVID infection rate, Washtenaw County will also lift its mask requirement in K-12 through educational settings effective February 28th. But Wayne County says its mask mandate still stands and masking is required in schools and daycares. Detroit Public Schools Community District says it will continue to follow the guidance of the CDC, which recommends universal masking indoors for K through 12 settings and Macomb County says it's no mask mandate for schools continues as counties across the state decide to lift masking requirements. School districts can institute their own. If a local district decides that for them, uh, it's uh, best to uh, keep a mask requirement in place and they take it to their school board and their school board decides to implement it. Absolutely, they can do that. Novi says it will follow Oakland County's guidelines. We will uh, follow that guidance with the understanding that if uh, somebody wants to continue to wear a mask, uh, they would be able to do so. Oakland County says it will revise its requirement if need be. Anytime we, we come across a, a, a surge or, or something that's new, we're going to take a look at it. This mom says her organization will continue to push for safety requirements. We can't get too comfortable or complacent and think that COVID is over. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.